All right, guys, jumping into the tournament for Tech Find and Brawler. We are taking on the Guado Glories. Ronzo Fangs taking on the Kilka Beasts. It's funny, I actually don't want to face the Kilka Beasts or the Ronzo Fangs, so I don't care. I don't really care who wins that tournament um, match or whatever. Um, actually, probably I'd probably want to face the Fangs over the Beasts. Just because the Beasts have just raw stats that we can't get through all the time. Whereas uh, the Ronzo Fangs, it, it here's the thing. Here is the dealio, if you will. Um, it feels like with the Ronzo Fangs, if we just play smart, then like we'll be fine. Uh, we haven't always played smart, as we've seen from previous games. But uh, if we just play smart, we'll be fine. And, and that's really the thing I uh, I take to heart. Yeah, we're gonna have Nav Guado here push uh, push midfield, getting countered by Letty. Tackle through comes through. Uh, obviously, no turnover. Navguado's endurance is significantly better than uh, Letty's attack. But thankfully, Nob decides to encounter every person that's ever been on my team, with the exception of uh, Letty. Yeah, we're going to kind of pull back here. Uh, we should be able to take tackles, right? Maybe? Yeah, sure. This looks fine. I'm actually a little bit worried about this game as well. Um, not to the same degree of like a, a beast fangs game, but it feels like it feels like they have a lot of pressure to exude on me. Like, look how far into my side of the field we are. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. And you got Nav Guado commanding the middle of the pack, and Nav is just an absolute nut. He's insanely good. Like, it's genuinely a uh, put. There's some potential for a real bad time. Whether tackle comes through from Nob. At this point, if I'm honest with you guys, I'm not even really like playing to get keep of the ball. I'm just playing to get a goal here. Like whoever can get it, because I'm, I'm I don't know. I'm a little bit a little bit skittish, a little bit uh, skeptical on keeper's ability against these this team. Well, I mean, we'll see. Maybe we should. We honestly. Well, we should focus on Keepa. Let's yeah, let's get the ball to Keepa and see what he can do. See, we'll see if we can get it to Keepa. This is the the bonus here though, is they like push forward so much, like it, it leaves us open to success. Oh, please don't steal the ball. All right, well, at least Keepa learns Venom Tackle. <laughs> okay, this is this is no bueno. Uh, well, actually, this is awesome. Arguably, I shouldn't have even tackled with Bata because we do not want him to get the ball in any circumstance. Who's buying? Gira? I mean, eh. The problem is Anti-Wither 2 uh, is equipped on Noigwata right now, so there's like, n there's actually no chance that we, uh, we wither Noigwata. So that's, that's a little bit concerning. So we're going to kind of pull up here a little bit. Stop. And we, we're here for the win. We're here for the win and the goal. Um, oh, shoot. I actually figured that incorrectly. I assumed that Waka would no longer be withered by, by now with all the movement, but I guess he still is. That's fine. We're just going to go for the shot. I, this isn't going to make it. It could be our right block. But, and maybe there's like an anti-nap we can trigger to like learn the technique. Yeah, bottle learns anti-nap. Yay. <laughs> Honestly, not a... Uh, this isn't a rock star performance by us. Like, we are... We are struggling to like... Maintain. And even though Giraguado's like 50 miles away, if he actually got that shot off, he probably would have scored. Like, it's, it's kind of ridiculous to a certain degree. Uh, we're going to pass to Jasu here. Really, I mean, if we end this half 1-0, I will consider that a smashing success with how it's gone so far. We're going to lean into Pac Wado here because we don't mind the encounter. There it is. Let's go, Oroch Spirit. Let's go. Fingers crossed.
and we make it. It's 1-0. Very good times. Very, very good. Yeah, have Nav Guana push right side. There's definitely enough time for them to score, but it just depends on what actions they take. I'm gonna say they're not going to, just because 27 seconds, you gotta, you kinda gotta hustle. I mean, they're gonna pass to Gira, or Zazzy, sorry, and he's already, he already doesn't have enough time. Oh, that wouldn't even make it anyways. It's a cool way to end the, uh, to fade out from a sphere shot. Yeah, five experience for Kiba. Like I said, we are kind of sweating here. And we do get anti-nap two for Bata, which is not a throwaway technique. The Venom tackle one for Kiba, definitely throwaway. But like, oh wait, why don't we have Pile Venom on him? He doesn't have any Venom techniques. I guess we really didn't have anything to put on him. I guess we could have put all sorts of things on him. We could... We could have put... Oh my gosh, what are we doing? I'm not going to put on Anti-Nap. I'm going to put on Pile Wither. I don't know why we have Pile Venom on and then no Venom techniques. So Pile Venom and Wither, it, accum it accumulates status effects. So normally you can only Wither or Venom someone once. But if they have uh, Pile Venom and or Wither on them and like a technique to trigger that, then you can do it any number of times. So because Bada now has Wither, uh, Pile Wither, and like wither pass three and tackle three he can wither someone just over and over and over yeah that was a mistake on my part i should have i should have caught that the other thing i should have done is actually verify techniques i don't remember if um if noi is keeping the uh the anti-wither too i don't even think did i check i might not have. we're gonna have knob guado tackle through here he could steal the ball he doesn't Thankfully. Yeah, we're gonna push up here. And if we miss, we wither instead, and then maybe get a technique. So it's it's a win-win. There it is, 2-0. I definitely prefer the goal over the, the anti-wither. So you're gonna have Buddy here tackle through. Nav Guado's endurance is halved. That is unfortunate. Don't stop. Okay, cool. I was gonna say. See, the thing is Nav Guado doesn't realize he could probably get away with no encounter. Like if he just kept on swimming, he'd be fine. If he just stopped in our goal, like he'd be he'd be having a great day. So we're gonna go for a uh Pass to Waka. Really, if I'm honest, I'm just trying to get out of this clump. Uh, we'll pass to Keepa, and then we're going to have Keepa go for the shot here. Uh, the reason is, is because I just want the ball away from me, honestly. We're two points up. This kills time. And then in addition, this, this gets us a technique. Even though just moments ago, I was just talking about how much I did not care about that technique. Anti-Wither too. Still, I just want to... There's a part of me that's actually just curious. <gasps> there is no anti-wither too. Interesting. So you got Pogwato, Jasu's gonna tackle through. Okay, we're gonna cry because we're gonna lose the ball here. Well, maybe not. Maybe, maybe Nob won't touch it. Oh, he does. Oh, he, he does, but he doesn't block it. That's surprising. I would have actually preferred if Nob got the ball. Wither shot. Okay. I don't know what they're doing. I don't understand this. The AI for the Guado Glories, though, has been making some goofy, goofy decisions. Let me tell you. Not smart decisions. Not smart at all. 
but I love it actually to a certain degree. But yeah, we're gonna have Keeper just go for the shot. He he could probably score here because of the wither now. And there it is. 3-0. Not Guado's pass is halved. That's good. It's all good stuff. We have Jasu tackle through. Bada does the same. I meant to actually use a technique there, but honestly, it's probably a neg negligible difference. Um, there is a difference because obviously we can stack the withers, but it's fine. There's like a minute left. It's not a big deal. Unfortunately, Pogwato does not have Withered Catch. That's unfortunate. But thankfully, their team's really fast. So Otta kind of sped away from Keepa there. And that made it so that only Gear is going to encounter. And we do have an opportunity here. It's a small window. It's a very, very small window. But we do have an opportunity here. There it is. 4-0. Jasu tackle through. Gonna pull back a little bit. We do not have a lot of time, so we're gonna take the tackle, pass to Kiba, and then Kiba's just gonna like launch this away from him. I don't think we have enough time to actually finish this out. Well, maybe we do. I'm glad there's no encounter because I want to know the answer. Do we have enough time? Oh, we do for sure. It, we just don't have enough shoot stat. <laughs> but it's going to be 4-0 final score. A little bit for them. A lot more for Keepa. He got 5 experience last time. So that's significantly better. Perfect. Well, we 4-0 the Glories and we are destined to face the Fangs again. Because they 5-0 the Kilkabees. Perfect. Alright, well thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and when you come back, we're going to be playing more Blitzball. Till next time.